a boy growing pubic hair down to his feet is like the fifth weirdest thing that we saw in this movie. That's right. We saw the peanut butter solution. So you know what that means. A nigga grow a baby in his belly, rock a rhinestone vest while ripping just into Kelly. Or maybe see a burlesque show with Nick Crow and take a boat with speed to hit and cruise control. J Man, Big Paul, and the beautiful June. Gonna take you from the goob all the way to the room. Ran the games of Street Fighter, help to blow off steam. Just a sucker punch the odd life of Timothy Green. Shot Nato to Birdemic, how we staying alive. They call it in the badass, and he's on the line. Cranking 88 minutes, cause they cool, cool as ice. ice. Cause a bad Jim Varney looks Looking kind of nice. Paul and June getting literal. Jason is getting laid. June is making sure all the monkey shots getting paid. They judge a bunch of movies while they're making the grade. Here's a real question for you. How did this get made? <laughs> That's a good look, Haru. What's that smell? <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another How Did This Get Made Matinee Monday. I'm your host, Paul Shear. Uh, every week, we look back at classic episodes of How Did This Get Made, classic old episodes, I should say. I shouldn't call our own episodes classics, but I do love this one because Peanut Butter Solution is an insane movie. We did this uh, back in 2020, not too long ago, and we have found out that this movie from 1985 has terrorized Canadians for years and years and years. Uh, the Peanut Butter is a secret ingredient in magic potions in this movie but that who cares about that we have cabinets that are too tall teachers cutting hair in math class a, a kid going bald and the students immediately having a song made up for it we hear a little bit about jason's health and how his doctor uh just calls his body a, a bum unit and uh, we ask the question that everybody really wants to know does locks of love accept pubic hair anyway uh this moment that i'm gonna play for you is an odd one. This is where our main character, Michael, finds out that he's bald. And uh, brother and sister, pretty blasé about it. Here, I, I, again, this movie defies a lot of explanation. It's bizarre. You need to live the movie and then basically have a therapy session with us to, like, talk it out. Anyway, listen to this clip. And this is the moment of realization that our main character, uh, a young boy, is completely bald. It's him and his friend Connie uh sitting down at a table i believe connie's always wearing the fedora uh just take a listen this is the realization moment here connie do i have any hair at all not much tell you the truth not actually yeah take a look i'm bald Oh. Like it's a, it's so lethargic. <laughs> What's weird about it is like Michael, who's the little boy who has the fright, wakes up and his hair is now gone. Like he is totally bald, right? Yes. Um, but he arrives at the breakfast table not aware of the fact that he is now completely bald. He and doesn't both, have his eyes open, Jason. He does, he, that's what I was just going to say. He's got his, he still has his eyes closed. And what we're to believe, he hasn't even touched his head. And even though his father and his sister are like, casually, oh my God, you're bald. And then they yeah. walk out of the room, like nothing's going on. And it's him and it's Michael and Connie that have the, that's when Michael finally looks in the toaster and sees his reflection. Like the father and the sister are like so blasé about all of these insane things, including when Michael goes missing, the, the, the 20, kids, 20, 20 kids go kids. missing in this town and everybody's still going to school, still hanging out. Kids. 20 you know, kids in one very small town. And but now that I understand it's Canadian, it makes sense because Canadians don't care about their children. No. You know, <laughs> they just, they're, they, if they can't, you know, that's the, yeah, that's right, Canada. But by the way, here's what I'll say about Canada, because I know we have a, a bunch of amazing listeners there. I actually think that their parents are very chill. It's like, if our kid goes missing, they'll come back eventually. Like, we'll figure yeah. it out. Like, we'll get we him don't, back. We don't lock we, our doors. We He'll know be able that, to get in. We know that even Canadian <laughs> kidnappers are not that bad. They will return our kid eventually. Whenever they're, they're done using them for their capitalist plot to make paintbrushes, they'll come back. I mean, it's fine. It's 
One less thing oh I got to worry God. about. That, that I mean, the, the art teacher, I could talk about the art teacher from his class to his child Dog. slave labor uh, sweatshop to the inappropriate shoulder touching to the ripping up. I mean, the, 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 the accent to the jacket made of hair for the oh, end of the movie. The he's hair wearing, jacket. He's wearing like a duster made of hair. It's like it's Joseph and the nuts. Amazing Technicolor dream coat of hair. It's yeah, just Joseph and the Ma- Sergio and the Amazing Technicolor hair coat. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's wearing that coat and running through a hallway full of hair. He's also like delivering paintbrushes wearing a I, coat okay, made so of hair. I, I'm really interested in in that piece of it. And bas- I guess basically the plot because it turns out when Michael first wakes up that morning after the big <laughs> fright and goes bald, um, it he he does his dad and Sue's. And by the way, I, I was obsessed with Sue's style and her little sweaters with like yeah. Oxford shirts. Popped, and I, I just collar. thought she yeah. was so great. But Did Sue's go to school, by the way? I don't know. I mean, she's a homemaker now. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think I, she was talking about getting a part-time job at the bank. I think she's a, I know, I th- I think she's now I know a 12-year-old. I she's going for her real estate license. But. <laughs> 12-year-old bank teller. <laughs> <laughs> but when they go to that doctor who... Uh, Epstein, I, Poundstein, Poundstein Epstein was his name. Also, <laughs> that. also has an accent. Well, well... It doesn't it end up that he's that doctor who who's also not that concerned that Michael woke up without any hair. Yeah, okay. yeah everyone's not that pretty blase. Okay. So turns out though that he is the art teacher's brother. Who, and also the art dealer's and brother. Also the art dealer's brother. <laughs> so they're so these brothers are basic basically make up 40% of the population of this town. Yes, this is little Italy. They are <laughs> This movie has like five, uh, basically five characters in it. It's it's a it's Suze, it's the dad, it's the it's it's the son who's bald, Connie, and then the three brothers. I mean that's that's it. And that's the, seven and the characters. Principal, who's and, the, great. and the you know, who's got a British accent. The yes, the, the, the principal's right. got a British accent, and then the math teacher, and oh, and Connie's younger sister Mele. as well. Been later. Oh, yeah. Come, comes in later in the movie. You so, know, to but be here's it. my question. So it so so turns out we find out that the art dealer had been um, knew where his bro- his twin brother, the Italian art teacher was, and the doctor led them to that art dealer. Blah blah blah. Is there any world in which this was a big master, like in which the art teacher, Signor, was? Wow, you're really putting plotting a real spin on this. that, Senor. You're really lean, leaning why? in on it. But plotting this from the beginning so that no one would question what was happening to this kid's hair? Oh, so the doctor's playing it very... Well, here's the thing. Hmm. The doctor's like playing it very much like that's not a big deal, but there is no hair factory without Michael. But this seemed to be like he was kidnapping these kids before... I mean, or at least he kidnapped he, he kids only- really quickly. Yeah, well, he really only st- like yeah. It's only when because I don't think to, to your point, June. I don't think Senior could have planned this because the recipe comes from ghosts. Yes, the recipe, like, and but he's not involved in that. So, and I just want to reiterate because we have not said this yet in the podcast. <laughs> we haven't talked about what the peanut butter solution the even recipe, is. <laughs> for the recipe for how to grow hair comes to Michael via ghosts. That's part of the movie. You can get Peanut Butter Solution, the How Did This Get Made episode, wherever you listen to podcasts. That's right. Just look for How Did This Get Made. You can find this back in our stream. We are still trying to figure out how we are going to archive our old episodes. But until then, this is the best we got. Matinee Monday. I'm Paul Shear. See you next time. Bye for now.